What's happening, people? Today we are here with a Wi-Fi bell. As you guys probably don't know, but probably do know, I don't know. So, a new Pokemon game is coming out. Uh, well, not coming out, but it's going to be announced today. I mean, tomorrow. So, uh, I'm here to celebrate by giving you guys a Wi-Fi bell. The Vulture Sun and Moon. And to give you guys a heads up on, you know, we got a new Pokemon game that's going to be uh, given to us. Or... It's gonna be announced, I mean, <laughs> uh, tomorrow. So, yes, that's happening. Uh, this Wi Fi battle, I'm not too sure. I recorded this battle already, but unfortunately, I messed up and uh, forgot to. Um, uh, <laughs> I just deleted it for some reason. It doesn't matter, though. We're here to record. And um, I don't know. I think my first recording of this was a lot more. Um, it was a lot more professional and just me in the mood. I don't know. When it comes to recording and doing YouTube, it's like riding a bike. Um, and I haven't rode a bike in a couple of days, almost a month, and it's just... Well, not an actual bike, I just mean doing this YouTube thing. It's just, it take. I don't know, I'm getting back into this. So, bear with me. This commentary may not be as, you know, entertaining and all that, but uh, because I'm not really into the mood on... Not in the mood, it's just that... I, I just haven't done YouTube, alright? That's what it means. I don't know, I'm like that type of person where if I haven't been around people a lot, I just act awkward around them. Because I just don't know how to talk to them anymore. I don't know how I was before. I don't know, it just came to me. But now I'm... I don't know, let's get into it. Anyways. I'm gonna go for my Greninja. My shiny Greninja. In competitive battling, uh, it's not right to run a shiny Greninja because... You could, um... It can give your opponent the insight that, yes, you're obviously not an Ash Bond Greninja. So, you know, your Greninja being uh, not shiny kind of throws your opponent off in thinking that, okay, this thing may not have Ice Beam, it may not have Hidden Power Fire, it may be an Ash Greninja. It turns up your, uh, your, it turns up the opponent's plays, and then you can catch him off guard that way. But I'm your running shiny, this game, Pokemon, is, I just don't take this competitively into a to that extent, I play this game for fun <laughs> and competitively, and I play and I battle for fun. I am somewhat competitive, but not entirely. So, anyways, I am going. He is gonna leave with zero as I leave with my Greninja. I was predicting him to leave with. Actually, my best lead was probably Bennett, Bayonet, but uh, I didn't. Unfortunately, love my Greninja. I'm not sure what I was entirely thinking. Um, but now I am going to send out my Hippahad on as he is going to go for knockoff with his uh, Zero Aura. He is gonna, then going to switch into his Gyarados as I go for the Tossic because that was extremely obvious that he would switch out into this thing. Thinking that I wouldn't have anything to touch him or, or he was thinking that I was up Stealth Rock so he wanted to switch into his Gyarados before that. But I went for Tossic predicting that. Great move on my part because this guarantees that he will die. Uh, with Dra a Draco Mirror combination, because it will take him approximately three turns to set up and then start attacking. It has been two t two turns. Well, no, it well it has been three turns of him poison. He's been taking poison damage three times. So, and he will take it the fourth time this very turn as I go for the Draco Mirror. I did set up my set up my Stealth Rockets against him because uh, it was my best opportunity. I wanted to get him to go for Warfall before I can switch into my Gear Lyo safely. Um, so basically I won, I basically had everything planned out when he switched into his Gyarados. I knew he was going to switch in directly against my Apollo on that turn. It was great, perfect, flawless play. I was so scared I was going to miss that Tossic. You have no idea, bro. So, <laughs> luckily I hit it. Now, I'm, now I am going to lay off my Binet as I kill his Gyarados. It is a double down. And, um, I'm going to see what I am this Cartana has. Based on this I am, I can determine what type of set it is. And he is holding a fo Focus Slash? I guess it's irrelevant now because of, of the Stealth Rocks. I don't know why he would have a Focus Sash on his Cortana. Choice Guard, Z move, for wall breaking. It's just all those things are somewhat more viable on a Cortana. I'm not sure why you would run Stealth Rocks. Cortana can take physical hits. I mean, it, it can't take special hits, but I just don't know. Whatever. Anyway, see, he's going to get burned right here. I'm going to go for the Will O Wisp. Um, and then go for the Shadow Claw. The reason why I'm staying in with the Shadow Claw is because I'm still afraid of this Kartana. I don't know if it has Source Dance, and if it does have Source Dance, it can do a little bit more damage. Uh, it can do some damage to my team. What the? 
the screen just went black. I'm not sure if that just happened to you guys, but my <laughs> my monitor just went black. I think that was my monitor. I think you guys were all right. I, I don't think you guys saw that. <laughs> Anyways, he I am gonna burn him. Go for the shadow claw. Take a little bit of damage. The reason why I let, let uh, stayed in with my Mega Manette and allow it to become weakened is because I wanted to guarantee that I kill something with a Destiny Bond. So if anything attacks me, I will guarantee that I die and that my opponent's my opponent's Pokemon will also die. Guaranteed in a uh, double down. Also, I am <clears throat> I am also going to switch into my Hippodon right here. That was honestly a poor choice, but I did because I don't care anymore. My Hippodon's job is done. Uh, there's nothing else he really walls. I'm not wor worried about the Zero Aura because of um, it's holding an Air Balloon. Zero Aura is very very weak. And because it's holding an air balloon as well, I can't really touch it with my Hepaon unless I touch it with something else on my team. So, there's no real point in keeping my Hepaon healthy. I mean, I'm just going to find some other way of weakening that uh, Zero Aura. Honestly, I wish that thing was holding a Choice Band or some Life Orb. Because I did want him um, going for the knockoff right there when he when he did went for it against my Hepaon. That was really annoying. I wish he went for Close Combat. That's the reason why I switched out for my Hepaon. I mean, switched out from my Greninja into my Apalon. I thought he was going to go for close combat. If I switched out with my Apalon, at least he's getting neutral damage while getting a high amount of damage somewhat. But he went for knockoff. That's annoying. Uh, he is not going to go. F I am not going to go for Flash Can as he switches into the Zero Aura. That's a good play. If had I gone for Flash Can or Volt Switch, uh, the Zero Aura could take it, put some damage on me. Uh, I'm not still not worried at all. Because this was my goal plan. I want him to switch into the Zero Aura against my Magirna. Had he done so, this was great. I, I was thinking he was going to switch into the Landers, but that wouldn't have made sense. The Zero Aura would have made sense, because it can resist mo any move that I would have gone for against that type of Lele. So this was his best play, and I'm glad he did it. I, uh, because he's only an Air Balloon and not a Choice Banner or Life Orb, I, I can safely assume that... Well, safely know, actually. <laughs> Zero Aura is weak, man. I can safely know that I cannot die from a Fire Punch or anything he goes for with the Zero Aura. Go for a Flash Can, go for a Dazzling Gleam. After Stealth Rock's damage as well, he is going to be in a range where he will die upon re-entry. And wait, he's going to right here is make a terrible, terrible play. He should switch into his Landorus. I don't know why he did this instead. I'm guessing he didn't want his Landorus to be burned. Had he actually let that Landorus get burned, uh... It wouldn't have meant anything. If it's defensive, I mean, it's probably offense. I don't know. Anyways, oh man, did I skip a, a turn where I was, I was supposed to narrate? Oh man, this battle's going. I'm kind of explaining everything that's I'm doing in this battle instead of actually narrating my moves that are actually happening real time. My monster keeps going black. What the hell, man? <laughs> um, it's flashing on and off. Anyways, I am going to um. Yes, sir. so I switched to my Mega Bennett. I was trying to kill Zero with a Shadow Sneaky. Had he switched into the Landorus, I would have burned it next turn. Um, it had he had a Rocky Helmet, free switch into my Greninja. Um, my real game plan was to kill the uh, Zero Aura and then Destiny Bond on anything that switched into me. So, right here, he is going to uh, go for switch to the Lele instead, predicting my Shadow Sneak. But unfortunately for him, I have Destiny Bond. He probably doesn't know how Mega Bennett processes. <laughs> So both double down on top of Lele and Mega Bennett, which is awesome. Now what he's going to do is switch into his um, his Landorus against my Magirna because uh, it was a double down the top of Lele and my Mega Bennett. And then I'm going to switch into my Magirna because it's so hard boobs because I know for a fact he's going to switch into the Zero Aura, let it die, and see what I switch into to um, so that way he can switch into whatever he wants against whatever I switch into. I switch to my Magirna, forcing him to attack upon whatever he switches into, and now that's game. Because I switch into Magirna, he switches into Landorus, and it's game because uh, he's forced to attack my Magirna. I have Soul Heart Boost, he doesn't want anything taking major damage. It, had he switched into Mimikyu against my Magirna, it would have made a difference because I would have just, just dash, full switch it on this uh, Mimikyu, putting, taking out his disguise, switching into my own Mimikyu. And, uh, and that way I can just honestly um, just kill it. Not kill it. I mean, yes. I mean, he's forced to switch us. He's um, either kill my beginner or go for a Sora's Dance. 
I'm guessing he would have gone for a um, probably an attack. Actually, I don't know. It's not safe to. Yeah, yeah, he was basically forced to switch into his lanyards. I'm not sure if a Shadow Claw could, could have killed my Magirna at that range. I'm thinking not. But anyways, he is going to switch into the lanyards, kill my Magirna. But switching my uh, Greninja, forcing him to switch into Mimikyu, loses his disguise. I'm then going to switch into my own Mimikyu as he goes for his uh, Z move. And this way is game because. The Psychic Terrain is going in. I'm going to go for a Shadow Sneak. He can't kill me with a Shadow Sneak. Um, unless he gets a crit. And so this is going to allow me to... Um, oh, that's why I switched into my Grinch first turn. I thought he was going to leave with his Landorus. That's why. So, yeah, but you predict that. But anyways, he is going to... Um, now switch into his... Uh, I mean, no... no. I'm not going to go for Shadow Snake, two Shadow Snakes. I don't know why he didn't go for the attacking move instead of Shadow Source Dance. I, I don't understand why he did that. But uh, he is going now going to um, lose his Mimikyu to two Shadow Snakes. I am now going to go for Source Dance with my Mimikyu because if he is a defensive lander, he can't kill me in one hit and I can go for my own Z move. But what he is going to do actually is go for the Rock Tomb, which is going to lower my speed and then kill me off of the Earth. Quick next turn, and he will out be able to outspeed me too. That's a great move. That was a great move in this situation. But uh, unfortunately, this uh, is without a doubt defensive landers of some sort. I'm not sure if it's Rocky Helm or not. Um, if it is Rocky Helm, I don't know why he didn't switch into this against my Mega Net instead of, instead of switching into his Tapu Lele. Um, I'm guessing he wanted to switch to. I guess he just didn't know how Mega Net works. But anyways. I'm going to switch to my Green Ninja now, go for the Ice Beam, finish him off, he cannot live this no matter what. And that is game. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I said, we have a Pokemon Direct, or Nintendo Direct, whatever it's called, coming up tomorrow. So, stick around for that. I will be uh, making a video on it, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so, yes, we got some a little bit more videos going on. I got some trouble going on at my house, so... It's hard to record. But anyways, I will see you guys later, probably most likely tomorrow. Peace.